Hello and welcome. Welcome to the Arts Council of Surrey Community Gallery here at the Newton Cultural Centre. My name is Wendy Mould. I am the producer of ACS Gallery Talks. I'm here today to introduce you to our featured artist for October, Pam Asi. Works by Pam are here until October 27th. You may view the show online at the Arts Council of Surrey.ca or here in the gallery. Pam's show is called One with Nature. She likes to use photography as her tool to capture a moment of time. She uses these references to tell her stories and bring her imagination to life. She feels her paintings reflect a part of her and her life. As a nature artist myself, I really enjoy Pam's subjects and the way she portrays them in her work. I look forward to talking with her and learning more about her passion. Let's go meet Pam. Well, hi Pam, it's really nice to meet you today and chat with you about your art. Uh, I'm a real nature-loving artist myself, so I've really been enjoying looking at your work today. Can you tell us about this first picture? This is Nature's Beauty. How did it come about? Well, thank you for inviting me, Wendy, and talking to the you and the viewers about my art. Uh, Nature's Beauty came about because of my love of pansies. Uh, the colours, and actually when you look at the pansies, they look like people's faces. And that's, I've just got this sense of humour, and I just thought they were so cute and so funny. So that was my first inspiration for this piece. The second inspiration was I love hanging baskets. So what I decided to do in this painting was, when I put the, the wires, the hanging wires of the basket, they were too intrusive to the eye. So what I decided to do was get rid of those and make it into a flower garden. So I invite the viewer to walk through my garden of flowers and to enjoy the beauty of nature as it plays. Now my art is all about play and about whimsy. And so in this case, the whimsy of the bees, the butterflies, and of course, I love to play as a child. So this painting really captures not only the beauty of nature and beauty of nature at play, it also is part of me, how I used to play as a child and I used to love it. So it really takes me back to my childhood. Oh my goodness, thank you very much. That was very interesting, yes, it's a lovely, uh... Uh, picture. Yeah, I'd like to see that hanging basket because I think that was probably pretty too. <laughs> oh yes, it was beautiful. But of course you have to do a little bit of editing with those. But yeah, I love hanging baskets. Yes. Okay, well let's go look at the next picture. Certainly. Forbidden Gate. How did this story picture come about? Tell us. Well, this actually was a labour of love, this painting. Um, I walk around my neighbourhood and, uh, you know, just to see you know, how people have arranged their gardens, and just for inspiration for my uh, features in my paintings. So this was somebody's front garden, and I was so captured by these large rocks and how they meandered, the curve of them, and how the flowers were arranged around them. And it just so caught my attention that I knew I had to paint it. I knew it had to be the feature, the focus of my painting. So now as I started painting uh, this, um, I like to add a little touch of whimsy in my art. So I added these little chicks, and of course these chicks are very naughty, like I was as a child. And um, as these chicks were added, I started to think of my childhood memory. The childhood memory was, I used to live across from a park, and um, big tree stumps used to line the edge of a park. And my parents always told me, you're not allowed to go past that boundary, past those tree stumps, otherwise you'll get in trouble. So I was always scared I was going to get in trouble with my parents. And so really this painting is about the boundaries that parents put on children to keep them safe. And it is also about children being mischievous as I was. So as this painting started to evolve, I decided to add the steps and this little chick up there climbing to the gate to see what's there. And of course, this gate 
becomes the tree stumps. It's forbidden, is not allowed to cross. But there's always one little guy, you know, one little child that always wants to push the rules. And that's the little chick up there. So as this painting started to evolve, the garden became a water garden with lots of flowers. And, uh, and then it took off from that. Oh, wow, that is so neat. Oh, thank you. Let's go on to the next picture. Okay. Well, I can tell this picture has a story. Retaliation. What's going on here? Well, yes, it's a very fascinating painting. Um, the main inspiration for this painting was the pose and the swooping action of this American goldfinch and the expression of him because um, in my paintings, I mean, I don't know what, peop what uh, birds think. All I can do is put my own human spin on it. So uh, my art is about interpreting birds' uh, behaviors, gestures, and poses into stories. So this is what captured my attention. Now, as in all good books and movies, I love to do sequels in my paintings. In other words, what happens next is not solely contained to one painting. So this is the sequel to my painting titled Nowhere to Run, which is on my website. So in this story, it is all about the uh, decisions we make in life and their consequences. So I froze in the action. The American goldfinch was about to swoop and attack these finches, but all decisions we make have consequences. I want him to stop and think about what he is about to do. And of course, I leave this painting, the end of it, for the viewer to decide their fate. And of course, the viewer can look at their own personal life experiences and decide the ending to this story. Hmm, neat, very interesting. Yeah, so it could go on and on here, your stories. Yes, yes, definitely. I haven't quite decided if there's going to be a third painting. We'll wait and see. I'm not sure if the, uh, the story of our American goldfinch is quite over yet, but stay tuned. <laughs> Way to go. Well, thank you, Pam. I really enjoyed talking to you today about your work and hearing some of the stories. And I can imagine that the stories that you have that go with your other paintings here must be just as interesting. And I wish you all the best on your show, and I'm sure I'll see you with your work again. Thank you so much, Wendy. It's been awesome to, uh, to chat with you uh, about my work. I mean, I love it. Uh, nature, birds, the beauty of nature is just so inspiring for me. And, um, you know, of course, adding all my own personal life experiences as a child and as an adult, you know, is great. Okay. A special thanks to Pam for sharing her ideas and art with me today. I really enjoyed learning about her passion and how she projected it into her work. Pam Assey's show can be seen here at the Newton Cultural Centre until October 27th or online at the Arts Council of Surrey. Dot C.A.